Hello everybody and welcome back to the park. Okay, so last time we were looking for our son, which we still are, but we went into the swan and we learned about Hansel and Gretel and we saw Chad who keeps I'm guessing keeps roaming around because he's the only one around. So let's continue this story. I think Chad is the main bad guy. Cause he was watching me during the swan thingy. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. What? We were fainting for our turn of the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to, to go over to him, but I've always been a bit way of a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving a and picking away at the ice, and at first we thought he was making some animal like a tiger or a lion, but as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of the block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something more quite right about the proportions not quite right about the proportions something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster like you were praying that thing in the ice was a hunter but then those those these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit and then well he went berserk for a few moments it was chaos everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stabbed stabbed stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and, and I had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could and the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture making the horrible creature look more or less alive Jesus oh god <laughs> Chad is the bad guy Chad! You killed somebody, you son of a bitch! You heartless bastard. That was a teenager, you son of a bitch! Can I ride this? I want to ride this. Can I ride it? Can I ride it? Is it possible? I must be this tall to ride? Alright. All right. I can't get on while it's moving. I have to stop it. Right. Cool. Right. Cool. 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 Let's stop it. Stop it. No. 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 Decrease. 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 I want to ride it. I'm sorry guys if my computer like lags up a little bit. My computer is only like 10% lower than this game. This is like a 760 game and my, my computer is running on a 750. I'm talking about video cards right now. I can't get on while it's moving. It's about to stop. Right now. Right now, it's about to stop. Right now. Mm, one more time, I'm guessing then. You speak. Ah, I did it. Alright. Yes! Ride the Octatron. Woo! Woo! Alright, Chad. Where are you now? Chad? Woo! I'm making a joke about this game. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, oh. Am I gonna see Chad? Chad? Are you here, buddy? Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Oh my Jesus Christ! Oh my Jesus Christ! The fuck is that thing?
So I was wrong. Chad isn't the only bad guy in this game. Who was that in the booth? No, no, I am not confronting him face to face. Who the fuck was Hello? that? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I remember this. That's really cool. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. When you when you call out to Callum. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And he shattered. As they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. So I was in the Tunnel of Tales, right? It had to be. The House of Horrors is right over there? What is this? Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Darkness. So if I'm right. Stop! Kill him! So when when I when I yell, it shows it shows where the next pages are. I thought working in the park for the summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of the season here really drags. There aren't uh, that many tourists around, and so much, so and so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping, and most of the gossip is about Chad. I mean Steve. See, even I'm starting to call him Chad, and I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn wig suit. I'm sorry. The, the words are so together, and the fucking thing is so small. The text. In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve, the local lush, as Chad, the chipmunk. Child-friendly mascot at Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all of that. But the more he wears the suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first, it was a little thing like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. But then I saw him at Susie's di diner still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff commonized, criminalized, complained directly, discreetly to the to the park manager about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by. And apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him picking up in a... What the hell? Pulling up in a gutter outside the school. Outside the... Because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. These shapes he makes in the ice though. They give me the creepy... The creep. Steve came by the spoof today, lucky me, and he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up, eye fucking me, whatever he was doing. Okay. I asked him what he wanted and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor and when he came by, Chad, Steve wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. 
Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura, hem. Oh my f fuck you! Oh my f Callum, stay where you are! Yeah, well, she went boo boo! I don't like it! You stay the fuck away from me! You're not even. You look like a monster. What the fuck are you? You're not even a duck! You like this duck frog abomination calipiter type. I'm going this way. You can suck a nut butter with those facts. Bubble cars? Bubble cars! Yeah! Someone's boat. Ooh, floats mine. Floats mine. Floats mine. Oh, examine the rest. What the fuck is going on? Callum, where are you? You are the creepiest little boy. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Francis Dufresne. 25th August. Uh, brief description of the accident. Uh, during the transport of the bumper cars into the air arena, one of the strap attaching the load of the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directly directing the driver. Who is standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Describe any. Injuries caused, Francis was killed. See, doctor, yes. If yes, did you file an employer portion of workers' compensation? Yes. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the strap. Somebody else reported seeing that the sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. What could have been done to prevent the accident? Double checking of the strap and the chances should be done. Mentor, goom cops, the drug, goom cops have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No. Photo copy! Oh, I can't move. Oh, 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 oh my Jesus! Somebody doesn't know how to drive. Don't be afraid. Stay where you are. He's directing me. Hey, you okay, buddy? Check. It's a baby. Mommy is coming, Calum. It's not even in there. Well, of course, there's nobody in there. Baby, is that you, Chad, tricking me with your tricks? It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Stop Once, it. When Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. Oh, come when on, back, girl. The sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. Oh, come and like on. Saw in his eyes. Judgment. Oh, come he on. He me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch, scratch of his pen on the notepad. Oh, come on. And he gave it to me. Oh. Our eyes met. Uh, I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she just gets some help. Uh, help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. Uh, I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. 
Ah, oh, come on. Instead, my mouth said, "Yes, sheriff." Ah, oh, come on. Don't say that. What is with these small ass text? I gotta fucking. I need binoculars to see that shit. Continuously delayed by the income. The incompetence of the of the workers is that they are locals and so they believe a lot of the rumors about what old man Henderson used to do here. They grow up on those tales every time every time a boat comes loose to a or a wrench a wrench goes missing. Those fools and the fools are crossing themselves against the the Mac magic, black magic. Of course, that's why I chose the site over all the other potentials. Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies, and the thought of all that power just to dissipating beneath the earth here it makes my skin crawl I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history turns out they do and it turns out that old man Henderson was some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd Brad, something he wrote will help me find the piece of the planes that were missing. I'm not taking any. I'm not taking any chances after that bitch jumped out at me. I'm sorry. She scared the shit out of me. I don't want it to happen again. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Alright, I think we can end this episode here, guys. I had fun playing this. <laughs> I got a little scared. I think twice. No, I think only once. I, I got scared only once. Was it twice, actually? Did I get scared twice? I don't even remember. <laughs> this has been a roller coaster ride. <laughs> Anywho. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please like. If you want if you if, if you want to see any more of my videos, please subscribe. Please comment below on this awesome video. Awesome game that I'm playing right now. And as always, I see you guys on the next video and have a good one. The fuck is that thing? <laughs>